Hey, you guys. I'd like to share with you the rest of my old uh, dusty books that I found high in the bookshelf in the back bedroom. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing something new tonight. I'm not chewing gum. So wish me luck. Honestly, I don't mind doing the request for no chewing gum, but if if I can't get relaxed and I, I don't enjoy it as much, I apologize, I'll have to go back to uh, chewing gum, but I'd like to give it a try and see if I can get through, through a video without chewing. I don't know. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try for another 45 minutes. So we can fall asleep.
Five months on the New York Times bestseller list. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Can't believe I had a little, I think it was a dusty fur ball in my throat from the books. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So, this was U.S. Six ninety five, Canada. The price was seven ninety five. And let's see. Mm. He says here he lives with his wife in Texas. But let's see, because that would make him 1907, 100. He'd be 107 or 8. I don't think he's alive. Let's see when was this book. This book was published. Copyright in 1989 and copyright, copyright and published Valentine Books. So I guess copyright and published 1989. This book is dedicated to the gentle memory of. together in Hawaii in 1959. Someday you must write about my Caribbean or Caribbean. Huh. Uh -huh. A book of the month Remarkable and praiseworthy. 
He treats his chosen region with immersed respect, with a palpable decency that is utterly engaging and which deserves our close attention. From the Washington Post Book World. We got a lot of people to comment. The New York Times, Washington Post, the Boston Herald, Chicago Sun Times, Milwaukee Journal, Cosmopolitan, Modern Maturity, Book List, Chattanooga Times, Pittsburgh Times, Publishers Weekly. He got a lot of people to uh, comment. Okay, then next we have another James A. Michener recessional, a novel. Sentence for Sentence Writing's Fastest Attention Grabber from the New York Times. And this is six ninety nine in the United States and seven ninety nine if you buy it in Canada. Michener is America's best writer from the Pittsburgh Press. Washington Times wrote a little thing, something. And here, oh, he has a new picture in this one. James Mitchell was 40 before he decided on writing as his career. Mm. Oh, he also got a Presidential Medal of Freedom. Cool. Mm. These are all his best-selling fiction. Alaska tales of this. That's a bunch of good. I think. I think we have Alaska and Hawaii. Sayonara. I think. Detroit Free Press, New York Times Book Review, Christian Science Monitor, Business Week, Atlanta Journal and Constitution. So let's see Fawcett Chris from Manufactured in the USA. Ballad, Ballantine Books. Edition, April 1995. And that was the international edition. And the domestic edition, December 1995. So it was copyrighted in 1994. And then it came out in 1995. Recessional. Now. A hymn or other piece of music played at the end of a service while the congregation is filing out. Mm, he didn't have, I guess that was his little dedication page.
Denise Hamilton, the jasmine trade, gripping and intriguing. Six ninety nine, Canada. Excuse me, six ninety nine USA. Nine ninety nine in Canada. That's three dollars difference. I can't believe it. Nominated for the Edgar and Anthony Award for Best First Novel. Hmm. An intricate story by you, says USA Today. Meaty, says the New York Times book. The plot is a grabber and the book is a winner. Here is another author worth watching from the Washington Times. Revealing and Unsettling The Sensational Los Angeles Times and Denver Post bestseller. It has all the plot twists and creepy characters. For David. So this was copyright 2001. Um, Pinnacle book. Pinnacle books printing December 2002. Okay, David, this one's for you. She lives in coyote-infested Los Angeles suburb with her husband and two young kids. She has a website at denisehamilton.com. Mm, good for her. Christy, the pale horse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Can you see? There's like a... Wait, I'm gonna get rid of this with my hand. I don't want it on my feather. Okay. Unbelievable. Get 
Agatha Christie, the Pale Horse, world's greatest mystery writer. Hmm. Look, somebody had a little two dollar. That was a two dollar sticker on there. New York Times wrote something. Let's see. From Pocket Books. To John and Helen Mildmay White. With many thanks for the opportunity given me to see justice done. Mm, this is published out of Pocket Books out of New York City. Copyright 1961. Cover art, copyright 1987. First printing of this book was 1963. So, does that mean that this book was printed after 1987? Here's all the cast of characters. You guys have to like this book looks super old. This this book just really looks super old to me. But this is what I don't understand because I don't know how to understand this. So if you guys know how to understand this, let me know. So obviously, if the artwork was done in 1987, this book couldn't be made before. Uh, it says copyright 1961. So somewhere there's... And then first printing in 1963. So somewhere there's older printings. But because the artwork is 1987, we have to know that this had to be printed after 1987, right? Even though it looks... So carried away. Oh my goodness, Bronte, Wuthering Heights. Are you kidding me? Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of dust on here too. Oh my gosh, more fur balls. <laughs> oh, Penguin Popular Classics, Wuthering Heights, by Emily Brown. Complete and unabridged. Penguin books. First published in 1847. Published in Penguin Popular Classics in 1994. And Penguin Books is out of uh, London, England. Penguin Books out of New York City, New York. Uh, they also are out of Australia.
this is preface to the Number one bestseller. James Mister, the storyteller at his finest. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Six ninety nine USA. Seven ninety nine in Canada. Little praise from Mexico. He gets all. This book is dedicated to Conchita Citron La Superba. Now, 1992, copyright 1992. Fawcett Crest Books. First Valentine Book Edition, 1993. And the first Mass Market Edition was That's where the movie came from. In fact, isn't there a new Born Identity movie? Like, either it just came out this week or... It either just came out this week or it's coming out with what's-his-name. I want to say Matthew Broderick, but I, I'm not sure if that's the right guy. I just heard yesterday, like, he only has... or something is a million dollars or each word is a million dollars something like that <gasps> oh my goodness look at this are those dust bunnies or fur balls I've probably got my my uh, titles wrong what's the difference between a dust bunny and a fur ball I, I think these are dust bunnies right Who is 
is he? His memory is a blank. Jason Bourne. He has no past and he may have no future. So everybody commented. New York Times, Chicago Sun Times. This is from Bantam Books out of Toronto, New York, London, Sydney, and Auckland. There's that other. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other. Nine other bestseller. For Glynis, a very special light we all adore with our love and deep respect. Hmm. Printing history. Six printings in 1980. And in 1981, a Bantam edition, 1986, 13 printings. Acknowledge and thanks are made for reprint permission, 1975. Copyright. Thirteen more books, and I only have like thirteen minutes left. I better go. I better. See, I don't like to hurry. <laughs> okay, I think this is my first and only hardcover book. Annie Jordan, Mary. Brinker Post and Double Day. Seattle, Annie Jordan, Mary Brinker Post, Double Garden City, New York, Double Day and Company, 1948. Does that mean this was made in 1948? For Harry, whose book this is too. Uh, copyright 1948, printed in the United States. Irene Hunt across five epochs. Okay, let's see here. Five dollars US money, seven dollars Canadian money. Look, see, doesn't that look old? Look at the back of the book, it's like tarnished. When they have these old. I think this is like a uh, 
Berkeley Books, New York. She has one, two, and three, four books. And to Bruce, Diane, Eric, and Tracy. Copyright 1964. Printed in the USA. Berkeley Books. Out of New York City, New York. Uh, 1964. 1965, and the Berkeley edition was 1986. Yeah, this is. Edition from the year 2000. Promotional Sales Books Incorporated in New York City, New York. <gasps> Copyright 1998. This is the year 2000 edition. Doesn't it sound cool? USA, 995 Canada. Oh, remember that game Doom? The official strategy guide. Doom. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the receipt. From Comp USA, Comp USA purchased in, on March 1995 for $17.04. Um, Prima Publishing out of Rockland, California. Interesting. The real price. There's a price tag. Fifteen eighty-nine. Comp USA. Is that store even in business? Secrets to the game. I think Comp USA is gone. The nightmare continues. Oh. USA. It's nineteen ninety-five. Can't. Canadian money is twenty seven ninety five, and UK money is eighteen point forty nine pounds. So they marked it down four bucks at Comp USA. Mission 5. In the order. Oh, somebody was really into this game. Walk through walls. 
radiation, light goggles. <laughs> How cute. Somebody was really having fun with this. I wasn't meant to do, but... So here you have it. From 1995. Actually, it was purchased in 30th anniversary. We went there years ago. We had the best time. Price $7.95 by Osterold. I guess she published her own book. Osterold. Maybe not. I'm not sure. There she is. P. Osterald, a Western Guidelines Limited Publisher Guidebooks, Railroad and Western History out of Lakewood, Colorado. Uh, 1995, Mile by Mile Guide. How cool is that? Have you guys ever been on that train? The uh, Silver Good times. We had good vacations. We had the best family vacations all across the U.S. And there was so much we, we didn't do. We did a lot, but there was so much we didn't do. You could live your whole life and go through the United States of America and still not go through it all. Oh, look. There's that black sun. Popular presentation graphics program version 4.0 for Apple, Macintosh, or Windows. But I don't see a date on here. Uh, it's 4.0, so that. Oh, 1993 Microsoft Corporation. This is going to be my 
was trying to beat the house out of Irvine Interplay Productions out of Irvine. Oh my goodness. This looks like a book that I, let me see, I think this was my book. What year was this? 1992 copyright, 1995 Park Place Productions. I think this was my book. I think I was watching poker on TV and I was getting excited. This totally looks like my book. This was my book. Beat the house. Oh, it even, it must have had software with it. Where's the software? Hmm. Set-by-set guide to the availability and acquisition of Civil War records. Oh my goodness. Where did this come from? Installation for Windows. Oh, Windows 3.0. So this has to be old, right? Oh my goodness. What is this? Epson. This color stylus printer for five seventy nine, and a sound blaster for three hundred and forty dollars, and ink cartridge for eight, and some kind of PC kit for twenty dollars, for a grand total of one thousand sixteen dollars cash. Somebody went all out. Mm -hmm. Jay Vernon McGee. Oh, is he on the radio? He, he's dead, but I think his programs are still on the radio. Through the Bible Commentary Series. Jay Vernon McGee. Multi-card user. I guess there was there. J. 
Dr. J. Vernon McKee, 1904-1988, Thomas Nelson Publishers, Nashville. And this is just one in a series. 1991. Copyright. Mm. And Microsoft getting results with Microsoft Access 97. The real world solution for the work you do with all this. All these Microsoft and all this equipment from back in the day, you would think I'd be a, a computer or an internet whiz. You would think. I remember all these things. I remember skimming through them. But I used to, when we had our desktop, I remember all these books used to be. Quicken 6 for Windows. User's Guide. Quicken. Into it. Mm. Welcome to our growing family of Quicken users. Eric C. W. Dunn, Senior. Version 6 for Windows. So it doesn't have copyright, but so figure out when was Windows 6 so you know this was old.
باشین